All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekak Wadash. I want to give double honor to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone who do rule and teach well. And I want to give a peace and salutations to all you Akim out there pushing this truth across the four winds so we can seal the elect and make it to the kingdom. All right? It's the brother Yarah, Lord willing, coming back to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, to feed the body and edify the sheep. In all spirit, faith, truth, sincerity, and doctrine. All right. Uh, this this um, this exhortation or lesson is going to be about a vision that I had, a vision that the Lord sent me uh, last night while I was sleeping. And um, yeah, just um, persecution is coming. You know, that's uh, pretty much the point of this uh, video. And um, so the vision, it pretty much uh, started off with, uh, it was nighttime, uh, me and all the Akim here at uh, GMS Wisconsin, uh, GMS Fortress, uh, we were out, you know, just uh, hanging out, you know, uh, I think we were at like a, it's like a big bar or a restaurant or something, it just happened to have a pool table, and uh, you know, brothers, we like to play pool, so you know, we were playing pool, and um it was nighttime, like I said, people were eating and, you know, all around us, you know, you know, just minding their own business. And um, there were TVs everywhere. And uh, the TVs, we weren't paying attention. We were, you know, just hanging out with each other, you know, playing pool. And um, it just so happened that, um, you know, you can feel someone looking at you, you know, and uh, I just felt like so many people was looking at us. So I just looked around. You know, and just seeing everyone, man. You seen Esau, you seen all the nations just sitting around, you know, where they were sitting and at the bar, the bartender, the security guard at the front, everybody was just staring at us. And uh, I was looking at the TV screen and all the all the TVs had the same news report on it, right? And um, I was looking at this big screen and it showed some like young man. He looked like he was maybe in his early like twenties or something. But he looked he looked pretty young, young Jake. And um, he was sitting on a hospital bed being interviewed by the news. And um, they turned it up and the guy was, uh, you know, pretty beat up, pretty bad. You know, his face was all mangled up. And um, yeah, so but we didn't know what, were, what was going on. You know, I was just staring at the TV screen. And then one of the brothers here in the camp, uh, the brother of Bunya, you know, he came and, uh, you know, he held up his phone. I just remember he held up his phone and we were all looking at it. And it was pretty much the same thing that was on the TV. <clears throat> but we but we were able to really see and hear what was going on. And the guy was saying that he got beat up and he got, uh, you know, jumped uh, for no apparent reason. And, you know, and um, that actually uh, flipped to uh, uh, was it uh, Sheriff Clark. OK. I don't know if you brothers or sisters know who Sheriff Clark is. You might want to Google it, but uh, Sheriff Clark was on the TV screen and he was pissed, man. He was, he was, he was, he was, he was on fire. <laughs> and um, he had his cowboy hat off and his hands, hands on his hip, and he was pretty much, you know, giving a press conference and he was saying, "We're gonna get these bastards. We're gonna get these guys that did this to my son." You know, I guess the guy, the young man that got beat up was saying um i guess that's that was sheriff clark's son in the vision you know and um he was saying we we're gonna get these guys and then they actually showed uh the news people they showed a camera like a out you know how they have cameras outside of like a you know a place of business or something like that and you can see these guys and these guys <clears throat> i mean in the vision these guys were dressed like just like isupk all black with the wristbands and the fringes, you know, um, the boots, <laughs> you know, and uh, the head, you know, the the little black head wraps that they wear and the black glasses. And they were just, just wailing off on this young man, you know, beating him up. But it didn't really look like, you know, the guys that, you know, were uh, wearing all black trying to look like Israelites. They didn't look like uh, the actual guys from ISUPK. You know, 
they um they look like agents that was the first thing that came to my my mind while i was watching it you know and even the, even some of the brethren that was there in the vision with me uh said the same thing and out of nowhere sheriff clark was like you know we're looking for these guys blah 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 you know blah 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 if you if you've seen anything or if you know these guys let us know woo woo asap and immediately they flashed every single brother in this camp they they flashed our you know pictures you know it wasn't like mug shots or nothing like that it was like pictures you can tell that they probably grabbed pictures from like brothers social media sites or social media pages and posted the all of our pictures side by side on the news and they put a number underneath the pictures and the uh, the newscaster was saying you know if you've seen these guys or if you know these guys give us a call you know call the tip line and you know call the police immediately and immediately I just looked around at these people right and some people were like looking at us like you know they look like those guys but i don't know if that you know if that's them and then other people were saying like you know you you can tell by the by their countenance like yo those are the guys i'm calling the police right now so we were actually like oh we gotta go you know so we were heading for the door and as we were leaving like i said the place was packed as we were leaving you had half the people were trying to hurry up and call the police you know and then you had the other half was like, you know, cheering us on. They were like pumping their fists, you know, holding up their fists, like saluting, you know, like Shalom, like, you know, yo, we stand with you guys. We know that you didn't do that. You know, we'll, we'll, we're on your side, you know, pretty much. And uh, we left out of the place and that was pretty much the vision, you know. But, hey, man, it's spiritual. You know, I had, uh, you know, let the um, the head, you know, Elder Akim. You know, here in here in this uh, church in GMS, uh, Wisconsin, I let them know in the chat and um, through the spirit, man, you know, the spirit wanted me to, you know, make a uh, testimony and a, um, a uh, uh, you know, a, a lesson, you know, and this uh, exhortation, you know, about that, man. And like I mentioned earlier in the beginning of the video, this is a persecution, man. It's coming, you know, so I can get ready, you know, spiritually, mentally, you know, physically. You know, just get ready, man. You know, these, these people are against us, man. Like like the scripture says, the Lord told us in the scriptures, man. He said, I send you forth as sheep, you know, in the midst of wolves. OK, these people are wolves, man. All right. They're, they're not standing by. They're not standing next to the Lord, man. OK, when we're on the highways and hedges, there is no big crowd of people crowded around seeking the words and the wisdom of the Heavenly Father, man. And the instructions of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know. So that tells you right there, these people are not with the Lord, man. OK. And when that time of persecution comes, you know, even though in the vision we knew that they were framing us. OK. And this is Esau, man. Esau is going to do this, man. He's going to he's he's going to he's going to, you know, whip out all his tricks and witchcraft, man. You know, and these people are going to fall for it, man. OK. So persecution is coming, man. You know, doesn't matter if they're Jake or if they're Israelites you know whatever whatever man these people when 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 esau puts the pressure down on us <clears throat> these people are going to fold our family you know friends probably even our even even our own you know our own immediate family our our, our children you know brothers have wives or women that they're dealing with they might even flip on us you know <clears throat> slacky but i just want to get a couple precepts and then i'm gonna end it off all right and that's why you know on the screen here as you can see you know, you see the uh, the sheep, you know, pretty much uh, in captivity or in, you know, um, in a, a jail or prison, you know, because that's coming for us. Uh, well, for some of us. Uh, first, let me grab this. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 10. It's like a chapter five and verse 10. And it reads, blessed are they which are persecuted for righteous sake. For, so like for righteousness sake all right and that's going to be us we're going to be persecuted man and that vision showed that man you know it says for theirs is the kingdom of heaven all right so the kingdom of heaven is promised for us man if we endure unto the end you know verse 11 blessed are ye when men shall revile you okay and persecute you 
and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. OK, you see, because they were, you know, in the vision, they were persecuting and framing us. All right. Even though that wasn't us in the video and we know we didn't do that, you know, we know we didn't, you know, you know, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, beat up that that uh, young man. But, you know, they made it seem even 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 in the uh, the uh, the uh, video. All right. These guys have fringes on, man. You know, so obviously they're going to persecute and revile us and say all manner of evil falsely against us for the Lord's name's sake, man. You know, it's nothing personal. You know, it's, it's nothing personal that we've done in our personal lives. No, it's going to be all because we're out there standing righteously and boldly for Yahweh Bashim Shai's name's sake. OK. Verse 12. Rejoice. All right. So we're supposed to be happy, man, in these times to come, man. All right. Because ultimately, you know, that that's a that's a that's a great indication that we are of the hopeful elect. OK. It says rejoice and be exceedingly glad, be exceedingly glad, man, be overjoyed, man. OK, when persecution comes, OK, it says for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you, man, the prophets that which that which were before us that we read about in the scriptures back in the ancient times. OK, they they were they they were. You know, doing the same thing that, that uh, we're doing today, man. OK, you see coming at, you know, <clears throat> going forehead to forehead with these, uh, you know, these, these uh, wicked, you know, of, of our own nation, man. Two thirds of the nation of Israel, you so-called blacks, Latinos and Native and Seminole Indians, man, that don't want to get with the program, man. All right. That don't that 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 don't want to listen. All right. That don't want to take heed. To the words and the instructions and the wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. All right. <clears> this <throat> is also uh, the book of uh, Revelation. Chapter two and verse nine, and it reads, I know the works and the tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. All right. OK, so that's us, man. All right. The hopeful elect. All right. We're rich, man. OK, because the works that we do here on earth okay we're storing our riches in heaven you know as it is written okay so we're rich okay and the lord and the lord is going to cash that in for us man he, he's gonna he's gonna you know uh, uh um um deliver us man out of uh out of uh troubling times man that we're coming into man you know and it might even most likely be in the midst of persecution man okay it says and i know the blasphemy of them which say they are jews and are not but are the synagogue of Satan. OK, remember, this was this was originally talking about Jake. OK, the wicked of our own people, man. OK, the ones that are out here saying that they're Israelites, man, just like in the vision. You know, those guys were wailing off on that on that young man. And they looked like, you know, they were Israelites, man. OK. Uh, the point is, verse 10, and it reads, fear none of these things which shall which shall so like which thou shalt suffer. OK. Behold, the devil, all right, which we know is Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, woman and child, the, the elites, the bankers. All right. It says. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. OK. And it can most likely be, be because, you know, that they're, you know, they're going to they're going to uh, try to frame us, man. OK. And use their witchcraft to put it, you know, put it out there to the people and the people are going to turn us in, man. OK. It says. That ye may be tried and ye shall have tribulation ten days, but thou be faithful unto death and I will give you and I will give thee the crown, a crown of life. OK, so we got a reward, man. OK, all we have to do is keep pushing, man. OK, stay faithful into the end, man. OK. And the Lord has a reward for us, man. Now, this might not, you know, uh, um, you know, pertain to, you know, all brothers or all brethren or all you know all of the hopeful elect okay but you know some some of us are gonna have to uh you know maybe you know be cast into prison man okay that's why i have the picture of the sheep you know in prison okay because <clears throat> we're because we know we're we're doing nothing wrong man okay we're doing the, we're we're doing the lord's bidding and that's it okay we're not we're not we're not guilty of anything that these that these people or these devils, 
you know, try to try to, you know, put it put on us, man. OK, remember, the Lord said, you know, I just read it, man, that they're going to say these things falsely. OK, falsely. All right. All manner of lies falsely. But for the Lord's name's sake, man. OK, they really hate the Lord, man. They really hate the Lord. They really hate the Heavenly Father, Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Shai. OK. It's nothing personal, you know. You know, towards us, we come in that same spirit of Yahweh Shai, man. So they really hate the Lord, man. And that's why they're going to be doing this, these things, man, to come, you know, during persecution. Uh, last scripture, this is the book of 2nd Edris, chapter 16, and verse, I'll start at verse 70, and it reads, For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection. Upon those that fear the Lord, see, upon those that fear the Lord, <clears throat> all right, there's going to be great insurrection upon us, man, okay, and in that vision, it showed that, man, everybody, man, okay, you had, you had, you had a few people, a few Jakes, you know, but the majority of people that were in that restaurant or in that bar, you know, in, you know, in, in, in my vision, okay, they were against us, man, okay, and, and 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 they had their phone in hand, man, calling calling Esau, man, on us. Okay. Verse 70. It's like it, verse 71, and it reads, They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord, man. Okay. They're gonna be spoiling and destroying us, man, or at least trying to. Okay? Because we know, like the scriptures say, man. You know that the Lord is going to lift up, lift up that standard, man. Once they try to get their hands on us, man. Once they get close to getting their hands on us, man. The Lord is going to uh, uh, um, give us spiritual powers. You know, He might deliver us via chariots. You know, we might be translated from, you know, that 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 particular place to another place. You know, out of out of danger. Okay, out of the way of danger. You see, the Lord is going to deliver us, man. It's coming. It's coming. Brothers talk about it all the time. Spiritual powers are coming, man. It's 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 coming, man. All right. And us in his truth and in his faith that believe and have faith. All right. On the heavenly father, Yahweh, through his son, Yahweh Shai, we can feel it coming, man. OK. All right. One more scripture, the book of Sirach or, or Ecclesiasticus, chapter two and verse six. All right. Off the top of my head. All right. And it reads, believe in him. All right, the Heavenly Father Yahweh, okay, through His Son Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and He shall help thee, okay, 